Hello, 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 my little croissants. Tonight's ASMR video, I'm going to be showcasing what's on my bookcase. Now, I won't be going over every single item because there's just way too much, but I'll just be picking up random things doing my usual Amal commentary on them. So, if that sounds interesting to you, just keep watching. First thing I want to show you, let's see. We'll do this. Now, it is no secret that I am a Britney Spears fangirl. I've talked about Britney in so many videos, and you guys are probably sick of me talking about Britney, but oh well. <laughs> this first item is a Britney Spears Oracle deck. It's super cute. It has a guidebook inside. And these are all the cards. And you guys, they're really, really cute. They're created after Britney, so of course they're fabulous. But I'm going to show you one I really, really like. Here. They have her in different outfits. One thing about Britney. She is all about the low-rise jeans and bottoms. She's got the figure for it. Iconic bubblegum Brit. This one is the flight attendant look that she had in the Toxic music video. This card, I have the golden ticket. She wore this to a movie premiere when she was pregnant. I know way too much about Britney. Oh my gosh. This is the last card I'll really show you because there's a lot to get to. But this was an iconic look. I forgot which award show this was at. But she started off, you can kind of see black fedora hat. She was in a black suit. She ripped it off and she had this sparkly nude toned outfit underneath. I love Brittany so, so much. A little trip down memory lane. Some of you might remember this cup. I had it in a older video where I talked about it. I think it was, oddly enough, one of my what's in my purse videos. I'm not sure, but I acquired this cup because it's kind of gross, but it was near the trash. I think someone was drunk and took this from a bar downtown and just left it by the trash and I took it don't worry I cleaned it up and ever since then it's where I keep some of my little bedazzly pens and apparently a dry erase marker and I'm sorry if you hear like slurping sounds right now Elliot is going to town on his fountain. Now, hydrate or dihydrate. I just love this little cup. In the video I talked about it one time, there were a couple of people who were convinced it was haunted or had a curse on it. And, I don't know, maybe so. Next thing I'm going to pull, we'll do these. These 
are my Coca-Cola Vintage Style Playing Cards. I love anything like this pinup, bombshell-esque, vamps, fixins, sexy things I'm a fan of. And these cards are super cute. Each card has its own pinup girl on it. Not only do you get to play a fun game with some playing cards, but you get to enjoy the artwork. Keeping with that theme, I have my Sexy Girl stickers. I'm not sure how many are in here. I have two packs. My sexy vintage lady stickers. I'm thinking of decorating my laptop with them. I've had various laptops over the years and I don't know why, but I've never put stickers on any of them. These, I think these are changing my mind. Again, I just love artwork. Here we have a voodoo doll. This was given to me by my cousin's ex-girlfriend. She is a gem. I love her, even though they're not together anymore. I really miss her, actually. <laughs> and she got me this voodoo doll from when she went to New Orleans. She said that that down made her think of me. I don't know how to take that, but I'm gonna take it as a compliment. She thought this would be right up my alley. She was right. I find anything taboo or just not your usual item or occurrence or anything like that I'm into. I've never used this. There's a whole how to use the voodoo doll on the back. Lie it down or hang it on the wall. Oh geez, close your eyes and concentrate deeply on your victim or enemies or friend. Okay. White pen. Here, this is for good luck. Black is for bad. So, you can use this one for either good or evil. It's versatile. For extra power, call the Voodoo King in New Orleans to order your double pens for double power. I do have another one, actually. Not on my bookcase, it's like on this floating shelf I have. And that one I've read that you cannot use it for good or evil. It's literally only for bad. The tag on it literally says bitch. Pulling from a lower shelf that's not in frame. You know, just use your imagination. It goes all the way down. Is this Betty Page makeup bag? I haven't used it yet. It's cute. Compact, hot pink, and it has Betty Page here and her figure, if you can't tell. I believe they carry it in this hot pink color as well as a deep kind of metallic blue, a bit darker than my nails. Keeping with the Betty Page theme, I have Betty Page, The Lost Years, an intimate look at the queen of pinups through her private letters and never published photos. This book is gorgeous. I might actually do a whole video just 
flipping through it, but I love Betty Page, Jane Mansfield, Marilyn, of course, that era of women, but it's just, I feel a fun thing to have to look at someone's life through their home pictures. Look how gorgeous. Just love the style and aesthetic. The Betty Page bangs. One of my favorite things on my bookshelf. I also have these postcards. They're Quentin Tarantino postcards. And yes, Quentin may be a weirdo who really, really likes feet. But you know one movie, I really don't blame him for setting up the scene the way it was? That would be the scene in From Dusk Till Dawn where he had some Hayek, like, break a bottle and pour the contents down her leg and he sucked it right off her toes. I feel him, actually, in that moment because did you see how hot she looked? I would have probably done some shit like that, too. Getting a little bit down low for this next one. This little bugger here is one of my vintage perfume bottles or aftershave. Now this is an aftershave. Shaped like a rhino. And believe it or not, this is from Avon. Their packaging is a total snooze fest these days. But back in the day, they had the funnest, coolest perfume shave bottles, which I now collect. If you've been to any antique or vintage style market, you've probably seen an Avon bottle. They're quite common, and people love to sell them there. This one has all of the aftershave in it. It had never been used. I still do have the original boxes. I don't know why, but oddly enough, I've smelt this and you would think for how old it is that it would smell rancid, but it somehow still smells decently good. The next item from my bookshelf is this. I think it's an amethyst cluster. I'm not sure. I'm not someone who knows a bunch about crystals and things in that area. I don't like, though, when people are mean to people who are, you know. I feel like we all have our own beliefs and things that we find joy in we find comfort. So, if you're someone who charges your crystals and you do crystal grids and things like that, I love that for you. I'm pretty much cool with any belief that someone has. As long as you're not hurting anyone, go for it. These next three items are going to be a real blast. We have this April Beanie Baby because I am an April baby. I'm an Aries, which all I know about being an Aries is that it's a fire sign. And from what I read a lot about Aries is that they're fiery, kind of angry, um, independent, and I 
guess they kind of take charge. I don't know if that fits me exactly, but I'll take it. This one's name is just April. He's a little bear. Then I have this camel one for obvious reasons. And it's from the year 2000. His name is Niles. Cute. It's got a little furry humpback and it's tail. And last but not least of our beanie babies, we have this gray kitty cat. The red bow. And he is named Beanie. Also from the year 2000. Long tail. This one might be my favorite, I think. Just because he reminds me of my real life kitty cat. My sweet prince, Elliot. I'm not gonna pull this one out, but it's in frame. And I was wondering if you guys remember when I did a video about these lip glosses, the Too Faced Lip Injection Lip Glosses that burn like a motherfucker, I now use this cute tin case just to keep little pens and markers in. Going down low, I have this egg-shaped Thing. I don't know what this is. I don't know if it's actually any kind of like gemstone or special kind of rock. What it really reminds me of, and not to be crass because that's so not me, <laughs> it reminds me years ago. Maybe I just ran with a weird crowd, but. I knew women who would put, I think they were jade, and they were egg-shaped like this, and they would stick them up their hoo-ha, I don't know why, maybe it was some kind of like inner cleansing thing, I don't know, but that's what this reminded me of, so of course I had to put it on my bookshelf. I also have this book. It's called A Little Bit of Palmistry, An Introduction to Palm Reading. Shows you the different lines in your hand, what they mean, the lifeline different lifeline formations. I've never had a legitimate palm reading. I did have my palm read by my late grandmother and she was an interesting woman. I don't know if she knew who I was most of the time. Now, I don't remember everything she said during my short palm reading, but what I do remember was that she told me I would be married twice. And so far in my life, I've been married zero times, engaged zero times, so I guess I have a lot to I think that's a good place to end this video. There's just so many things on my bookshelf that would be really hard to get all of it in one video. I hope that you enjoyed getting to spend some time with me, seeing what little knickknacks I have. I love you all so, so much. And I'll see you in the next video.
Bye.